Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video, and it's finally time to take on the last uh, stage of the Chamber of Reminiscence, at least the new stages that came out for the second anniversary, and it's, you know, I just haven't touched these, because <laughs> that's... Eh. This is especially the free-to-play unit only one, and I'm not too concerned about one Protector EX shard. It's not going to get me to 15 or anything, but this wants a space physical unit to be the quote-unquote DPS against a wind enemy. And we are fighting Ranga, who's got 306k HP, uh, not very high stats, gives himself all pierce and then wind magic attack instant damage for 40% of his max HP. Okay, well that's quite a bit. And then he's an AoE. Well, thankfully, there is a space physical unit available to, uh, actually, everybody, technically. Because it's going to be the free-to-play Misery, who came out uh, with Space 2.0 two months before the first anniversary. So she's quite old, but she is space and physical. And we're going to run a green team, led by the new Overlord Protector uh, Gabiru who is leading a green team. He is not done yet because we haven't gotten the Predator battle as of recording this, so he's only at level 7. So he's giving Stern of Spirit and Tempest Elite allies a 20% element buff, and then raising our skill cap, and then giving us extra skill points. So Stern of Spirit and Tempest Elite, um, not really on here. So it's going to be difficult. We're not going to get that element buff, but we do have... Orb Changer, Orb Changer, Orb Changer, Orb Changer, Buffer, Buffer, Healer. Uh, so, I mean, we can make something out of this. And if this doesn't quite work, we'll we'll change it. We'll bring, like, Nabe or something. That way she gets the element buff. But let's just go ahead and jump in. Now, obviously, we have... We have Yom here. So we could run a Vengeance. We could just do everything we can with Vengeance. I'm going to try not to use Vengeance here to see how long it actually takes to kill him. And then, you know, depending on how well or poorly that goes, we may have to change up our strategy. But, uh, okay, yeah, let's just send these oranges. I'm not too concerned. 3,700 damage. All right, I mean, decent ticks off the health bar. It is what it is. And we'll go ahead and just send these blues. Try and get as much Gabber as possible. Once we start getting, like, full hands of fully buffed greens, we'll be able to really start cycling Gabaru. And this looks like the time where we're going to do that. So it took some damage there. Remember that Misery does have a single target heal in our back pocket, which is nice. She is also able to raise our green damage up with her own buff skill. But right now, I want to get cycling more than anything else. So let's do the orb change with Yom. And then we'll take him out for Isis. And we'll use her green buff here. And that's going to help us get things moving really, really fast. So even though we may not partake in the element damage we're still going to do you know weak point super weak point there and if we keep doing that over and over and over again and having some alts i mean we're taking off his health at a good clip but he does he uh, he does alt quite a bit he doesn't do the most damage like these are all free to play characters they all have their free to play gear on i didn't change it up to have like my maxed out six star um normal gear for people so let's do the Isis orb change, and then we can bring Trya in here for Isis, and then use her special convert. Boom. And then we can bring Yom back in. And yeah, I think we're looking pretty good so far. The green buff's still active. We might as well start healing. Actually, do we need to start healing now? Because it's going to get more expensive. Because the thing with Gabaru is that he does not uh, reset our skills when we use him. And nobody's on Tempest Leaves Turn to Spirit, so nobody got that buff. But we'll send this last. And well, actually, when's the last time I saw Misery's ult, huh? <laughs> I think it's a single target. Think being the keyword. I'd... 20k? Yeah, it sounds like a single target. We crit there, too. That's nice. Alright. So we're down by like a fifth of his HP, a quarter of his HP. It's pretty good for four turns. We've got two more alts coming in. We could do another convert with Trya. We're getting a lot more points here. And remember that Gabaru is not fully maxed out. So we're stacking skill points um, more slowly than what we could be doing here. So Trya for the special convert again. Uh, boom. 
The Isis buff is still active for one more turn, so we don't need to worry about that. We'll bring her up front, that way we can use it next turn anyways. And we have at least two space units here. Sufia is space magic, so she's not quite doing as much damage as Misery is, but she's still doing weak point, and that's more than anything. And it helps her tank a little bit better. Uh, there are other space units you can bring is like Space Frey and Space Cleash, but they're blue focused, which you could certainly bring a blue focused team on the, uh, here. Ooh, that was quite a bit of instant damage right there. I thought it at 40% of my HP. Damn, okay, well, yeah, here, let's heal. Let's heal some of that back. And, ooh, what a not great hand here, huh? Bunch of blues. As I'm talking about blue orbs, I manifest blue orbs. So let's do the orange convert, the blue convert with Isis, and then we'll bring, yeah, we'll bring you in for your 45 point skill, and that is all we can do. No more Isis buff, unfortunately, but we'll get another alt with these two. All right. And he's at half HP. And hopefully he doesn't instant damage, like, multiple turns in a row. That would be kind of unfortunate. Oh, he's got Pierce again, and he's got an ult. But he didn't actually attack us there, so that's kind of cool. So, another stack of Gabiru. Now I think what we're going to do is we're going to use the Misery buff instead. So it's 30% 30, 30 for two turns instead of 50 for three. But we also get two turns of increased green damage also. So let's use the orb change from Yom again, get a full hand, looking pretty good. And now these are buffed, so you can see Gage increased by 30, damage by 15. Looks good. I'd wish these were all Misery orbs, but you know, take what you can get. 6,100 damage, Misery, 16,000 damage. Eh, I mean, it's a long fight, so a stacking team would work well. You could certainly bring, like, the Konosuba Shuna, the free-to-play Satoru from Visions of Coleus, uh, they would certainly work just as well. All right, we got to heal Sufia up now, so heal again. Boom. And I believe he's magic, so the physical resistance we get... Yeah, he's magic. So the physical resistance we get from Yom's Vengeance skill would not actually matter here, but the Vengeance certainly would be taking a little bit off his HP every turn after turn 5. So, orb change, orb change, and that's all the points we have again. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six. We still have the green damage buff and still have the gauge increase for this la this turn only, and then next turn we'll have to use probably Isis. But we'll have 130-something points, and we're looking pretty good. All right, AoE, and nothing. All right, cool. So, we'll do another stack of Gabaru. Um, I mean, we've got a number of green-focused units. You could bring, like, Light Shinsha if you wanted for a single orb change and a light buff in case you wanted to hit with, I don't know, Darkness or something. And, you know, focus on a blue team, Darkness will be a single target, blue-focused nuker. There are definitely free-to-play options, given that the game has been out for a while, but it's do you have access to those free-to-play options, which is the better question. Okay, um... Hmm. Misery has no orbs whatsoever. So, I think we'll do this. We'll just do these two orb changes. One, two. And that's about as expensive as we're going to get. Uh, the green buff is gone, though. So we have skill point, one twenty percent protection gauge from the charm, 20% skill point increase for one turn, and gauge increase by 10. So we'll still get a little bit out of this. We'll send Sufia last because she is still space. And then hopefully next turn we can get a good amount of orbs for Misery to come in and do like a 6 send with her as a 200% orb. And we're almost, you know, he's almost, oh, okay, a full hand of orange. <coughs> I mean, sure, that works for me. You can come in then for Isis and we just won't worry about any orb changing here, which will keep things cheap. Uh, we will use another heal, though, just in case. And we'll use another stack of Gabaru. Um, none of the orbs here are going to be affected by that, but we do get a skill cap. And this should get us two alts. Three alts. Perfect. Alright. I don't think we'll kill on this turn. Because, it. Yeah, uh, well... We might kill. Question mark. 
Um, we might kill. We don't have enough points to orb change anymore. That's the thing is that this team gets very expensive very quickly. Let's just go ahead and send this in the blues, and we'll see where we end up. Six thousand, what four thousand, five thousand right there. Sixteen k. Yep. All right. Well, yeah, we're definitely not killing, but we've definitely taken him down, and we're in we're in the danger zone now for him. Okay, that's a hand right there. AOE. Thankfully, like, even his pierce buff, he doesn't have the highest stats, so we're not truly in danger of anything, which is nice. Um, We do have enough points to do this, so we can take Yom out. And then we can do the Trya convert and then the Sufia convert. And then I think that leaves us with enough... It does not leave us with enough points. Never mind. Trying to use the Isis buff again, but it's just not really working out for us. But <clears throat> it is what it is. Okay, if he doesn't die this turn, he's going to die next turn. If we get a full six hand send. Or, I mean, we'll have an ult. Two ults. We'll have an ult. And no greens. <laughs> okay, well, maybe we don't kill this turn. 14 turns in. Not what I would consider the greatest showing in the world. But let's just let's just do this. 16, 20k. Oh, we crit. That's why. All right. There we go. We cleared stage three of the Chamber of Reminiscence, looking with a green-focused team. Um, I mean, I guess we can come back with a blue team and try it. We need to clear it in 12 turns or fewer, so maybe we should do that. Hold on. All right. We're going to use a blue team. There's only one free-to-play protector that gives additional damage against the wind, and that is the Visions of Kolia Satoru. Um, but unfortunately, he's giving that damage buff to uh, Shizu's will, or Visions of Coleus units, of which there are no free-to-play Visions of Coleus units, because the one free-to-play unit that did release with Visions of Coleus is Cleesh, who has nothing to do with the OVA. So, that's awesome. Make Made a whole lot of sense to drop her. Like, I get it because she, you know, her chapter story came out, but at the same time, it's like, she has nothing to do with Visions of Coleus. Why is she coming out with the Visions of Coleus team? Doesn't matter. Blue Orb Changer. Blue Orb Changer. Uh, again, our DPS. Because at least Sato will be giving all allies the synergy buff, which means that we'll get you know a little bit extra attack. And, you know, Orb Changer. Orb Changer. Crit damage buffer. In case we do happen to naturally crit, it will hurt more and more and more. So let's just go ahead and try it out. All right, not a bad hand here. Again, we have two space units, so we can do at least some kind of damage. Yeah, some kind of damage. That's not, yeah, that's what I was going for. Five, five misery orbs will definitely do some damage. It's just that we didn't have the synergy buff, but hopefully we can get there. Okay, there we go. That looks a little better. So pierced again. She is still healing. Um, Cleesh is lowering magic resistance, which honestly does not matter here because our primary damage dealer is physical, but I guess it would help her do decent damage. Maybe put her on par with the damage that uh, Misery would do with her single target alt. But now we've got some blue orbs, now we can get Satoru kind of up and going, and this will help our damage output, I think, quite a bit more than just running that green team. Um, even though it's a fine green team. Alright, so Ranga's alt... All right, we should probably heal Cleesh up a bit. He does have that instant damage skill coming in, but we don't actually have a lot of points, so never mind. Um, damn. That is unfortunate. Uh, let's just send these oranges, and we'll try for a good hand next turn. Uh, yeah, sure, okay. So let's do Cleesh's orb change. And then we'll get Water Rimuru in here for Romarus? Yeah. For Romarus, use his green orb change. And then we'll get him out of here. He's best off used in the back. We'll use a stack of the crit damage and a heal to get Cleesh you know, a little topped up. And then we'll use Otto. This will give everybody the synergy rate because it's not specific. And then we'll have synergy with Cleesh. And yeah, we'll be able to cycle again. So this should go pretty well. We'll watch Cleesh's ult, why not? How often do you really see this either? 
All right. <clears throat> this seems to be going a little bit faster. I mean, we're already on turn five. So, I mean, faster being subjective, right? Oh, tasteful underboob. Tasteful underboob. 20k right there. That's pretty good. Synergy 4400k on the Misery Orb. And almost 10k there. Yeah, I mean, okay, there's the instant damage. Looks like it hits the person with the highest amount of HP. So that is that, that does make things a little bit easier to play around with more than anything. So orb change, ooh, right. We don't have a lot of We don't have a lot because we haven't only we haven't had except one stack of Satoru. Um let's go ahead and Satoru. We'll just send these misery orbs. That'll get her ult. And it'll give us, I think, hopefully it'll open up a little extra time to orb change here. Kind of. All right, well, I mean, yes, we can. So let's do that. Let's do this orb change. Boom. Full hand. Another Stotero, which means that now Misery will have the synergy buff on, that, on her alt as well. No orbs for her, though, which is unfortunate. So synergy, synergy, synergy... And how much does the alt do? So no, it, ooh, crit there. That's nice. 19k. All right, that's pretty good. Yeah, we're his health is dropping down a lot faster here, but we do need to heal Shion now. Okay, which takes away some points actually. Um, thinking a Rimuru here for Shion actually get her out of here. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That that actually works a lot better actually. We could have healed Shion. Oh well, we'll do it next time. So Rimuru, out again. Another Satoru. And, okay, good, we have Misery Orbs. I always forget who I have. I think we can get like three more decent turns plus an ult or so, we can probably take him out uh, before 12 turns is up. So cool, there's an AoE ult from Romarus. Not that impactful. Um... Again, no Misery Orbs, though. That's not what I really want to see, though. Okay, let's do... Uh, hmm. Hmm. All right, let's pull this out. Let's do the Rimuru Orb Change. And then the Shion Orb Change. Yeah. And then we can heal her up as well so boom boom awesome synergy buff only one misery orb hopefully we get like a just a natural six hand of synergy that would make life a whole butt ton easier uh, but i highly doubt that's going to happen but we do have two alts here all right the counters not what i'm looking for here all right we have two more turns we have two more turns to take them out can we do it oh instant damage all right okay that's it and we got just a shit hand. One Misery Orb. But we can change this. Alright. Can we do it in 12 turns? I think if we don't do it here, obviously it's very it's doable. Like, it's not... We can do this, except in 12 turns. I think we'll need a bit more RNG for Misery Orbs than anything else. Cleash, 20k... If I had enough, we could have used, like, the magic resistance, and that would have helped out a lot more. Well, no, actually, we should be able to kill here if we get a full, ooh, full hand. Okay, so. Let's see, Rimuru is cheaper, so we'll get, Shion doesn't have any orbs anyway. So, we'll get you out. We'll do this orb change, and that should leave us just enough to use the Romarus orb change. Perfect. Who doesn't have the alt coming in, but I think it, it'll be okay. We can probably kill because we only have space units here. They're going to have the synergy, and there we go. We're going to do it in 11 turns. So there we go. Chamber of Reminiscence Stage 3 done in 12 turns with two different teams, a green and a blue. The blue team obviously worked a little bit more efficiently because of Satoru and his additional damage buff. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, that's it for me. Take it easy, guys, and I will see you all later.